What will be the best Apple product of 2022? As this year draws to a close, we're getting lots of last minute leaks and rumors that give us a good idea of what Apple is planning next. New iPhones, iPads, Macs, AirPods, plus so much more. So let's break down those last minute leaks and everything we know about Apple's plans for 2022, including the top 13 products that we should see launch sometime next year. There is something in here for everyone, lots of really cool and exciting products, and there is so much to talk about that I need to get the intro wrapped up and just jump into the video. And a big thanks to Trade Coffee for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to buy a new Mac, right now is sort of a tough time to decide for a couple of big reasons. Of course, those brand new MacBook Pros are fantastic, they're amazing, they've got the ports, they've got the notch, but supply on them is limited, and it's honestly just much easier to buy a MacBook Air, an iMac, a Mac Mini, those computers are great, but should you think twice before you plop down that credit card number? Because new models are right around the corner. Of course, nothing is confirmed. This is all just based off of rumors and leaks. There are no official press releases or invites just yet, but based off all of the info that is leaked from reliable sources, there are some pretty big updates coming to many Mac models next year in 2022, with the MacBook Air getting one of the most significant updates we've seen in many, many years. So this new MacBook Air is going to be radically different in a couple of big ways. It's going to come in colors similar to the iPad Air and the iMac. So if you're looking for a splash of color on your Apple laptop, that should be an option. And Apple is embracing this white bezel and this white accent color around the display and maybe even on the keyboard as well. You sort of have this two-tone look that looks really nice and is a nice departure from the sort of monotone MacBook Air we've had basically since 2008. And in addition to that new design, there are also some significant upgrades under the hood as well. That display should be a mini LED display, which will be really nice for watching content, creating content. It's gonna be a really nice display on that new MacBook Air. This new computer should be powered by the M2 processor as well. So basically the successor to the M1 chip. So hopefully a little bit more powerful and more efficient. And yes, the notch is there. It doesn't have Face ID, but hopefully will give us the same new and improved webcam from the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. And also from the MacBook Pro, MagSafe should be making a return to the MacBook Air as well. Another great value of the last year has been the Mac Mini. This M1 powered powerhouse can be a really great computer. If you already have a display, keyboard, and mouse, it can be a really great value, especially with that M1 processor inside. But a new Mac Mini has been rumored for the last few months, and there could again, like the MacBook Air, be a very significant upgrade coming right around the corner. The 2022 Mac Mini could come in multiple colors, this new two-tone design, and also plenty of really good ports on the back with a great mix of USB-C, USB-A, Ethernet, HDMI. This looks like a fantastic lineup on the back of this all new Mac Mini. And also, in addition to these changes on the outside, some changes should be coming on the inside as well, specifically with the processor. Now, there are a couple of ways Apple could take this. They could put the M2 processor inside, or what we had heard a few months ago was that the new Mac Mini would have the same option in terms of processors as the new MacBook Pro. So maybe that means it's the M1 Pro or the M1 Pro and M1 Max. And last but not least, as much as the 24 inch iMac has grown on me since that spring loaded event earlier this year, I still want something more. And I know many of you guys do as well. You want the larger display, you want more power, you want this rumored iMac Pro. Could we see that launch next year in 2022? Well, the closer we get to sort of the end of this year and going into next year, the more likely this actually looks like it's going to happen. According to leaks and rumors from multiple sources, this new iMac Pro will come equipped with a 27 inch mini LED Pro Motion display. So it's basically in a sense, sort of a mini Pro Display XDR, and in some cases better with this ProMotion tech built in. It should come with a lot of great ports on the back, this obviously larger display, maybe even a nice sort of darker color scheme as well. Maybe this is space gray or whatever Apple's calling the darker space gray color equivalent these days. And there should also be some good power inside of this as well. Probably either the M1 Pro or the M1 Max, very similar to the Mac Mini. Maybe Apple sort of does it staggered where they give the Mac Mini sort of this threshold of the 
M1 Pro, and if you want the M1 Max, you gotta step up to the iMac for better airflow and stuff like that. Again, not sure how Apple's going to do this, but some Pro Focus Macs will be getting an upgrade in 2022. Next up, let's talk iPhone. Apple has some really big, ambitious plans for the iPhone in 2022, and they're going to release a total of five models. As of what we know right now, there's going to be five total iPhone models, or at least major models. There's gonna be four models, four variants of the iPhone 14, and an all new and improved iPhone SE launching in 2022 as well. Now I have covered the iPhone 14 series at length, so let me just sort of give you the highlights. We are expecting this radical redesign, very reminiscent and very similar to the iPhone 4 of 2010. So you've got this sort of two-tone industrial design, you've got the uh, circular volume buttons, you've got the sort of a speaker mesh on the bottom. It looks fantastic in terms of design and also some new horsepower inside as well, presumably the A16 Bionic, some improvements to Wi-Fi 6 and 5G, and also the notch is going away, at least on the Pro models, the 14 Pro and Pro Max, or maybe just the 14 Pro Max, will not have a notch. Instead, just a little hole punch up at the top of the display. Probably no Touch ID and probably no folding iPhone, but the iPhone 14 should also come with a new and improved 48 megapixel main camera and might be capable of shooting a video at up to 8K in resolution. So some pretty big upgrades are sort of in the works for the iPhone 14, and this should be one of the best iPhone upgrades we've seen in quite some time. So there's some big changes coming to the iPhone 14, but unfortunately the changes don't appear to be that big for the iPhone SE. Now we had heard some rumors that the iPhone SE was going to get this total overhaul in terms of a design. It was gonna look like the iPhone 11. Apple could build uh, the Touch ID into the power button. It could get sort of this hole punch at the top like the iPhone 14 Pro. There were some lofty ambitions and dreams for the iPhone SE, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Instead in 2022, Apple is going to do more of the same. So cosmetically on the outside, it's gonna look probably very similar to the iPhone 8, still uh, the same LCD display, still the same Touch ID uh, built into the home button, and it's gonna look basically the same as we've had for quite some time. Though the internals should be better, probably a newer A14 or A15 Bionic processor inside, hopefully a better single camera system as well, better smart HDR processing, all of that stuff, and 5G should be coming to the iPhone SE as well. Not sure if this is both millimeter wave and sub six, but this should be one of the lowest cost 5G phones on the market and certainly one of the lowest cost 5G iPhones you can buy new directly from Apple. So if you're looking for a lower cost iPhone, the iPhone SE 3 coming in 2022 should be a really great option for many of you out there. Now, before we continue breaking down Apple's 2022 master plan, let me take a quick break and tell you guys a bit about this video's sponsor, trade coffee. Now, if you are a coffee fan like me, you probably understand how horrible it is to realize you are out of coffee right at the beginning of the day or just being limited to the same old, same old options at the grocery store that aren't even that good. Now is the time to take your cup of coffee to a whole new level and Trade Coffee is here to help you do just that. Trade helps you discover amazing new coffees made from the nation's top roasters, matching you with a personalized selection, which is packed at the peak of freshness and delivered conveniently right to your door. And getting started with Trade is incredibly easy. You can get some mind-blowing coffee delivered to your door in just a couple of simple clicks. Start by taking the coffee quiz and answering a few simple questions, like how you make your coffee, what type of roast you prefer, if you take your coffee plain or with creamer, and based off of this info, Trade will curate a custom selection that matches your coffee preferences. You then select your delivery frequency, and that's it. The coffee is roasted and shipped within 24 hours of ordering and arrives at your door super fresh and in compostable packaging. And my personal favorite here is this Prime Meridian blend from Equator Coffee. It's made the best cup of coffee I've had in a long, long time. And not only is the coffee amazing, but you're also supporting small local roasters, which is really awesome as well. So now is the time to take your cup of coffee to a whole new level or give the coffee lover in your life the perfect gift by gifting them the Trade Coffee Experience. So learn more and get started with Trade Coffee today by clicking the link right down below in the description. And if you go through our special link, you get $15 off your first three bags of coffee. Really great deal. I'm a huge fan of the service. I love Trade. I know you guys will love it as well. So again, hit the link down below to learn more and sign up today. And if you go through our special link, you'll get $15 off your first three bags of coffee. Next up, let's talk iPad. Now, to be quite honest with you guys, there's not a whole lot we actually know about the iPad lineup going into 2022 as of right now. It's sort of the end of 2021. And that is probably indicative of a slower year for the iPad. We just did get some major redesigns with the iPad Air and the iPad Mini and the iPad Pro continues to be great. So at least as of right now, we're not expecting any significant changes to any of the models. Of course, we're gonna see some under the hood improvements, new processor bumps, better battery life, stuff like that. and 
And uh, that is probably what we're expecting as sort of the theme for the iPad lineup going into 2022. We had heard some rumors about OLED coming to the iPad, but that's probably still a year or two off. Uh, but I would expect sort of the basics and maybe some new things come to the iPad Pro as well. As of right now, info is sparse. So I would expect a good year, but a less significant year for the iPad uh, in 2022. Now, speaking of sparse information, we also have very little info about the next Apple Watch coming with the Series 8 next year in 2022. Obviously, for better or worse, the Series 7 did not get that rumored radical industrial redesign. I'm very sad that did not happen. And maybe we could see that with the Series 8, but I don't think so. Unfortunately, as much as it breaks my heart to say it, Apple is probably going to continue to double down on the health sensors and the wellness sensors going into the Series 8. Now, two little tidbits of info worth noting is that one, we had heard we could see three screen sizes of the Series 8. So maybe Apple makes a slightly larger version or a slightly smaller version than the two models we have right now. And we'd also heard that Apple could be launching a new rugged edition of the Apple Watch as well. Maybe we see that with the Series 8. And last but not least, three more Apple products we've got to talk about launching in 2022. That is the all new and improved Silicon Mac Pro. We've got new AirPods Pro 2. And yes, the Apple AR VR mixed reality headset is as of right now expected to launch sometime next year. Starting with the Mac Pro, I have no doubt this will be an absolute powerhouse in terms of processing power and performance. Little is known as to what Apple is going to call this chip or what will be inside, but have no doubt this new Apple Silicon Mac Pro should be just an absolute beast and should hopefully launch sometime in 2022, maybe with a big redesign as well. And as far as AirPods Pro 2 go, according to recent leaks and rumors, the design is not going to change all that much, but the case should get some updates, specifically a new speaker built in that'll let you sort of ping it through the Find My Network and actually hear sort of a sound coming from the case and not just sort of a sound coming from the headphones, which is really hit or miss in my opinion. So having this better Find My support would be nice. And also a new sort of attachment so you could attach the AirPods Pro case to a lanyard or to a keychain or whatever you want to attach it to. That should be built into the new case as well. Maybe some new health sensors built into the AirPods Pro 2 stems. And then of course, last but not least, this Apple Mixed Reality AR VR headset that should be loaded with a bunch of tech and sensors and high resolution OLED displays and have an app store. This one again is supposed to be Apple's sort of next big thing. There's been a lot of hype about this, a lot of talk about this. And as of right now, rumor has it that it should come with a $2,000 price tag. So it's not going to be cheap to enter into the future. And I'm curious to see how Apple sort of plays uh, friendly or not so friendly with the whole idea of the metaverse and what Facebook is doing. Not sure where Apple's going to go with this one, but yes, it is expected to launch sometime next year in 2022. But you should probably start uh, saving your money now because it is not going to be cheap. Whew. So let's take a breath, let's exhale, let's soak it all in. It's a lot of news to take in. That is what we are expecting to see launch from Apple next year in 2022. I'm sure I'm missing a few things, but those are like the top 13 or so products that Apple is expecting to launch sometime next year in the entire 2022 calendar year. Anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? What are you most looking forward to seeing from Apple next year? Is it the new iPhone 14? Is it the iMac Pro? Is it AirPods Pro 2? What are you most excited to see from Apple next year? And also, what could Apple launch next year that would get you really excited and get you uh, spending more money at your nearest Apple store or online? What are you most excited to see from Apple? Let me know in the comments down below. And again, a big thanks to Trade Coffee for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna get access to some amazing coffee from the nation's top roasters delivered to your door, in just a couple of simple clicks. Click the link right down below in the description to learn more and get started today. And if you guys go through our special link, again, you'll get $15 off your first three bags. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching these videos. Thank you from me to you. Thank you very much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle, and I will see you all in the next one.